Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. Today's video, I'm starting no makeup because I am a firm believer that if your lashes are on point, it really like just transforms the face. I'm not saying that I'm going to go without doing my brows and everything, but, but for this particular video, I want to see if it's true. I am going to be trying on, <laughs> these are press on falsies. I'm sure you've seen them on the internet, whether it's TikTok or Instagram. I first saw it on TikTok and I found them at Walgreens. That is the only place I can find them at the moment, but I haven't really like looked, looked. I just know that they're there. This is from the company called Kiss. And you have these little false clusters that have like the bond, the gluing bond on them already. And it's supposed to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're supposed to grab the little applicator and just pop them to the bottom part of your lashes. I'm going to stress that it says that it's easy. Now, I am somebody that sometimes when I do things like this, I struggle with it. So if I don't struggle with it, then I will confirm that it's easy. If I struggle with it, then I'm going to let you know there's a learning curve. I did watch a few videos and got a couple of like pointers about it. So I'm glad I did that because I really don't want to waste these. Apparently you have enough lashes here for, I think three, what does it say? Three to five times or two to three times, something like that. Now, I think there's two different styles. The only one that Walgreens had, well my Walgreens had was the voluminous ones. And the length of the lashes are long and short, which I'm very nervous about because I have kind of small lashes. I don't have full lashes. They're not very long. They're kind of long depending like if I curl them real good. This is going to be very obvious, I think, on me. But then when I see people on like TikTok talking about it, it looks really nice. But again, I'm not somebody who usually wears lashes. So this is what the packaging looks like. Let me open it and kind of give you an up close view. And then we're just going to try it on and see if it really is as easy as it says it is. But again, I know that I'm I learn things at a different pace, I'll just say that. Uh, I need to put my hair back. Guys, I have a question, maybe somebody can help me. I'm not a hair person at all, as you can see. Um, but lately, I've been washing my hair, and I feel like, even if I wash my hair almost every day, it just looks very greasy, and it's driving me bonkers because I don't know what to do so if any of you guys have like any tips or anything or you you know you know a lot about hair because I don't I would really appreciate any help all right back to the video so oh shoot where's the oh okay hold on so this is style voluminous all right medium long. these this row here is the medium and this is the long Let me get you up close and personal See how the curl is? Sorry, my face wants to go into focus. Perfect. And then it has the thing, the applicator that you're supposed to pick up and put on. So what I see about this applicator is that it's easy to kind of put it in. Okay, maybe I should practice with the applicator first. I have a mirror here that I'm going to tilt like this. And hopefully from the angle that I give you guys, you'll see how you're supposed to apply it. But you're supposed to pick it up, you're supposed to lay it under, and then you're supposed to get this part and clamp down. Like that. So one thing I recommend is practice getting this into that part of your eye. Hopefully without pinching yourself. So you want to get it about that close. You don't want to get it onto the waterline either. That's the other thing I saw. All right, I know myself and I'm gonna need tweezers. I don't know if I want to use tweezers and this. I'm sorry, if I just want to use this to pick up and put on, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time. I'm more comfortable with tweezers, so I will be right back. All right, uh, get a pair of tweezers that you're comfortable with. The ones that I am most comfortable with are probably gonna be these. These are my tweezer men ones. I just like the small one because I feel like I have a little more control. Now I am gonna just recurl my lashes because my lashes grow straight. And because they grow straight, I'm not gonna be able to see where the lash is gonna go and then they're just gonna like 
crisscross and I don't want that. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm not going to put mascara on. I didn't see anybody that tried it on put mascara on, so I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to come in close. Now the thing with these is that if you look really close, okay. Do you see how there's like a little line that goes across? That portion, like I guess like a half or a third of the lash is where the bond is. That's what's going to go underneath. You don't want to grab it by there. You want to grab it by the little hairs, the outer part. Let me take that off and kind of show you. We're doing this together. It's either going to be successful or it's going to be a fail. Also, the other thing too is when you're putting on false lashes, you don't want to bring it out all the way to the end because that's going to give like the illusion of the lashes going down. So I'm actually going to start, there's cream on my thing, probably not the outer part, but like maybe an eighth of an inch in, out, that way. All right. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do the longer lashes first. They kind of have like that wispy look. Look at me talking like I know what I'm doing. I could put false lashes on people. I just struggle doing it to myself. So I've picked it up. You see how there's like a little tiny band? Hold on, let me get it closed. You can kind of see it if I turn, like it looks, it's a little bit darker. That's where the bond is. So you're going to look down into a mirror. I'm going to tilt mine up a little bit. Oh, this is not, <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to grab it from the outside and kind of go this way. Nope. I think I might actually need to swap off to longer la uh, tweezers. There's like a little bit of the glue from what was holding the lash down on it. I'm just going to take that off. Maybe we'll try holding it from the bottom part. I was holding it from the side. Oh, that's a lot easier. Okay, hold it that way. And gently place and let go. Just like that. And I'm gonna, now I gotta look straight down to clamp. So give me a second. Nope. I'm gonna do it without talking because I think that's my problem. <laughs> It definitely involves practice. Um, these are way too long, way too long for my eye, but let's just go with it, I guess. Well, that's essentially how you want to have it on. Okay, let me put the other ones on.
This is harder than I thought. All right, um, <laughs> let's pull this out real quick. Uh, ah, let me see something. I think maybe, let me not do the long ones, let me do the short ones and see what's going on here. I'm gonna actually go in with the applicator. All right, so the problem that I'm seeing with these is that, and maybe it's my application, but they're so uh, like oddly curved back that they almost look like the, the outer part of a lash. Like, I don't know how this is gonna look all the way across, or maybe it's just a style that I, I'm not used to. But doesn't it look like I have two like outer lashes on? Yeah, we need a mirror up close because I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Let me see. I just, I don't, I don't like the way it looks. Maybe if I had gotten, if there's like a more natural looking one, it would have looked better. But I just feel like I'm putting on outer corner lashes on my eyes and I don't think that looks very good. Plus there's like the little glue underneath that it was like the lashes attached to this thing. It looks... I can see it. I don't like the way it looks. Um, there, it's so curved back. Let's try. It kind of feels... kind of feels a little itchy on the side and I don't know if that's maybe I have a little irritation to something I don't know I'll give it a few seconds um, this is it's looking better it's looking better I keep dropping them. I'm gonna go with, this is not easy um, for me, for me. And like I said, I know for myself because I struggle putting on lashes on myself. Um, that's why I'm saying it's not easy. I think those of you who are very good at putting on lashes and like it's like a no brainer for you, I think you're gonna like these. I don't like them. And I don't like the style of them either. Like this is this is too much and it's it's just too much for me. Uh, I think that putting on lashes with just glue or individuals is so much easier. Um, so I'm going to stop because it's just taking way too much time than it needs to. And I, I like I said, I'm, I'm not creating, like this is, this is too much lash for, for me. I don't know, I'm simple sometimes, but we tried it. Um, I'm not crazy about it. I think, like I said, for those who love like false lashes, this is definitely a product that I think you're gonna enjoy. It's just not a product for me. So I think like if I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna go somewhere and I wanna go like with the lashes and everything, 
I am going to just put regular lashes. And for some reason, this is making my eyes a little bit itchy, so I am gonna take them off. Um, we tried, we tried. I'm not totally writing it off, it's just not for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.